Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies, welcome to my channel. In this video, in this probably final video before I start working on the official review of the new head boom tennis rackets, I'm going to put these rackets on a scale. I will measure the weight of the rackets. I will measure balance of the rackets with this balance board and finally I will measure swing weight with this swing weight machine which is a great tool to find out how easy or how hard these rackets are to swing. So guys I'm really excited to do this because I'm doing this for the first time with these rackets. Even I've been playing with these rackets now maybe 10 hours. So 10 hours with these rackets. My opinion changed from the very first impressions and I have to tell you that the head boom tennis rackets are not that bad at all. They will for sure find the customers that these rackets are made for so wait for the final review and let's start with measuring the head boom mp and head boom pro tennis rackets so the question is why i'm doing this we know the data we know the data from tennis warehouse and other websites that are selling the tennis rackets but are these data correct? Are the data correct for these models I'm playing with or I'm testing? I'm not sure about that because I will tell you, maybe it's a secret, maybe not, maybe you know that, but during my testing period, when I was testing tennis rackets for the last three years, I found out when I measured all the parameters with the balance board and the swing weight machine that the numbers are quite different from the numbers that are on the Tennis Warehouse website. So everybody's looking to Tennis Warehouse and everybody is uh, looking for the numbers and for the swing weight. but. The numbers are actually quite different from the real numbers I get are different from the numbers that I see on the Tennis Warehouse website and I'm suspecting that maybe it's it's happening only here in the Czech Republic but maybe we are sometimes receiving tennis rackets and tennis balls of lower quality than the tennis rackets and tennis balls that are sold for example in the United States because the swing weight is usually lower than on the tennis warehouse website and tennis warehouse what are they doing so they take for example 10 rackets 10 same versions like this one this is the pro version they measure the swing weight 10 times on 10 different tennis rackets and then they make the average number and then they put the number on their website. So the pro version has swing weight of 325 on Tennis Warehouse but I doubt it's a number that fits this racket, this is a 310 gram racket, okay, quite heavy, but it's balanced more towards the handle than, let's say, other rackets of the same weight. So the balance for the pro version is, I believe, 310 millimeters. So 310 millimeters for a 310 gram racket. I don't think that this racket has a swing weight of 325. I believe the swing weight is lower, but we will find out. 
And for the MP version, the MP version has on the official Tennis Warehouse website swing weight of 318 for a 295 gram racket with a balance 315. I doubt it has 318 swing weight. I believe it's much lower. It's much lower. Maybe around 312 or 310. Maybe even less because the racket is very light. But maybe I'm wrong and we will find out all the details in this video. So I've wrote down the parameters that are on the Tennis Warehouse website and we will compare them now in the in this yeah let's say in my tennis studio and we will find out if that's correct okay so i have here the scale we will start measuring the weight of the tennis racket so we will start with the mp version obviously these rackets are strong so we will have to add 15 to 20 grams uh, to the basic unstrung frame but we have it, we have it from tennis warehouse so the mp version unstrung is 295 strung according to tennis warehouse is 315 so it should be 315 with strings so we will find out nope no 315 37.8 so once again it's much lower oh lower 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 so once again i'm really disappointed lower weight what does it mean lower weight less graphite cheaper fabrication so are we receiving in czech republic and in the eastern europe lower quality products maybe because i am i'm suspicious that they're they're uh, treating us unfairly and yeah it's happening with all other things like food and and drinks and and other stuff so you can find better products in germany and the same products in czech republic in this the same products with the same brand they are uh, they are uh, lower quality. It's simple. Is is that like that? So we have the MP version. Now the Pro version. So the Pro version is a 310 gram racket. Strung. It should have. 329 according to tennis warehouse 329 strunk nope 325.6 325.6 so once again lower weight for the mp version lower weight minus 8 gram for the pro version lower weight minus let's say 4 gram 4 gram less graphite 8 gram less graphite so yeah once again i'm disappointed so now i will measure the balance for the mp version so the mp version balance unstrung is 315 strung should be according to tennis warehouse 
it's around three twenty three three twenty three balance now so three twenty three it's three point nine millimeters less balance to the head so minus 3.9 millimeters so yeah it looks like that the less graphite the less weight of course the balance is also different and it's more towards the handle so now the pro version the pro version balance unstrung is 310 and strung according to tennis warehouse should be 324.9 not at all guys Three twenty, exactly three twenty. Three twenty. My disappointment con continues. So that's minus three point nine millimeters. <clears throat> okay, so once again, less weight than according to tennis warehouse different balance more into the handle what does it mean lower power lower power of course lower power and now the final measure the swing way so guys i'm i'm going to tip i'm going to say my what what will it look like probably according to me but i didn't measure it so it will be a surprise for me so i'm guessing that the mp version according to tennis warehouse should have 318 swing weight i'm quite sure it will be lower and it will be guys yeah 310 maybe or even less my tip is even less three let's say three eight three eight so that's my guess and we will find out now so 318 according to tennis warehouse i hope you will see it here's the here are the numbers so let's put it into the test So I will look at it if it's correctly. No, I will adjust it a little bit. Turn it a little bit. Okay, now it looks okay. And we will find out. Guys, what's that? What is that? 298. So are they lying to us? Are they lying to us? Because I believe they are lying to us. So, so I was really skeptical that the MP version has swing weight of 318. How? How? When I play with this racket, it's like nothing. I don't feel any weight, zero weight. And as you can see, it's 298. The swing weight is 298. Strunk. It's, it's like a 260 gram racket or 270 gram racket. I'm starting to, to get really angry. This is not right. This is not right. We are receiving lower quality products in the Czech Republic and that's it that's it that's it it's simple 
So now the pro version according to Tennis Warehouse 325? How the hell should this have 325? It's again it's a lot easier to maneuver as the standard let's say the speed the head speed pro it's much easier to play with I'm guessing this can have yeah three guys 318 I'm, I'm telling you this has 318 and and at max 318 at max the pro version head boom pro head boom pro okay it looks good and I'm telling you this thing is calibrated I did calibrate it with the with the special tube before I started doing this video okay I will show you I will show you where the tube is okay so I will show you that after after the video so this thing is 200 swing weight 200 swing weight and when you put it there when I did put it there before the video it showed 200 swing weight so it's perfectly calibrated it there is nothing wrong with it so you have to calibrate it before using it and I did that so now let's test the head boom pro god damn it they're kidding they're, they're kidding it's 3 311 311 guys not 325 it's 311 what are what are they telling us tennis warehouse they are making jokes of us or what I'm angry I'm angry guys this is not good this is not good so I wanted to do this after I play with the rackets because I didn't want to get the numbers and all the measures and all the things I did right now to get into my head and to spoil the review because at the end I quite enjoy the rackets you will see that in my final review but the numbers are horrible they are different very different okay so I will put the numbers in the video so you can see the comparison which is on the tennis warehouse website and which I am which I am getting from my instruments and these instruments are perfectly okay so I will show you so 200 kilograms to square centimeter inch to square yeah inch centimeter to square centimeter so guys there should be 200 200 okay so this machine which cost around 1300 dollars works perfectly so so I will post the numbers of tennis warehouse and my measures into this video you can look at that and you can make your own opinion but as I said before when I played with these rackets and I read the numbers on tennis warehouse I was like no it's not like that these rackets has much lower swing weight and the MP version with 298 swing weight it's like guys it's like uh, there's a huge difference that's a, that's a 20 points difference 20 points uh, the pro version it should have 325 but it has 311 so that's 
14 points difference and that's a lot that's a lot that's a that's a completely different experience so if you are buying these rackets and you are watching the tennis warehouse numbers and you are like so i need the racket with a swing weight of 320 or 325 you are probably not getting it from the pro version neither you are getting the third 318 swing weight of the mp version and what bothers me is that I'm getting these lower numbers with almost every racket I received in the Czech Republic for a review. Whether it is Wilson, whether it is what I've tested. Well, Yonex were quite good, Technifibers were quite good, but also lower heads were the other heads I've tested, the extreme and the radicals and the speed they were also lower and but not that much little bit little bit and i'm suspecting that we are just receiving yeah lower quality products in the in the middle europe or in the eastern europe and as you can see the market the market the market specifications can be different and I hate that because when I buy this racket, I want the racket that is, sell, is sold in the United States. I want the same quality, I want the same product, I'm paying the same money or even more. We are paying even more in the Europe for these rackets. So, it's not good, it's not good. And I will have to, I will have to uh, put this in the final review and i'm quite unhappy with the results i've got but nevertheless i enjoyed it i hope you liked it and i hope you now know now more information about the tennis the tennis rackets the the quality control and all the stuff that can be hidden for most people because probably you don't have the balance board at home you don't have obviously the swing weight machine at home why would why would you have a 300 dollar machine at home why why if you are not in tennis for example like me but you have scale you can measure the rackets if you buy the rackets you can measure it measure them for yourself and find out whether you got the real weight of the rackets that they should have and maybe you can then return the rackets and you can ask for a better made racket but it can be really complicated and yeah it's a quite a it's a it's a, it's a it's a gamble game sometimes so you don't know what you get actually you don't know you can't be sure unless you buy onyx the onyx quality control is almost perfect as i told you in my review of the yonex vcore pro so guys bad news for the boom or at least for this for this series i found out that the numbers are not correct they are cheating they are cheating they are mistreating us probably and nevertheless wait for the wait for the final review that i will post in the next two weeks because i will have to write the text version for the for the store i work for this will be in next week and after that i can really start working on my own personal tennis guy review of the head boom so guys if you enjoyed that this video please click the thumbs up button if you didn't like it click the thumbs down button if you enjoy what i'm doing because i'm doing it in my spare time now what's the time it's like yeah it's getting late late at night but i really enjoy that if you enjoy that i will leave my paypal account info in the description in the video and if you enjoy the content maybe you can send me some 
some goodies, something that will help me out to work on next videos and to uh, make even better videos in the future. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment, share, subscribe and I will catch you in next video. Play tennis, enjoy tennis every time, every day. See ya!